Morning. We've just parked up at the bottom of uh, Hard Not Pass in Exdale, where we're walking down the side of the River Esk. This is the Esk just to the side of me, into Brothercald, in the direction of Great Moss. A little bit further up here, we're going to pass Tongue Pot, famous swimming pool, and then I think we're going to do a couple of burkets and then we're going to come back the same way and we're going to find some nice private swimming pool just me billy and tracy so that's tongue pot just behind tracy we'll go down and have a look and then link <laughs> she's got a carrier bag today she's doing a touristy thing she's got a swimming gear in there <laughs> Water shoes. So this is Tongue Pot and it's a bit like Blackpool down here so we won't be hanging about but just look at the pool down there it's absolutely beautiful I think they're jumping off the top uh, but I'm not sure how deep it'll be but we'll soon find out So this is Tongue Pot famous swimming pool where the guys are diving in today it looks deep enough it looks about i would say 10 15 foot deep in there <laughs> yeah he's talking his cell out of it <laughs> he wants to stay dry. <laughs> so that was Tongue Pot. Fantastic, eh? <laughs> I don't know whether it's my kind of thing. We like the baby pools. So we're now approaching. Link off back. Well, we've got a group of gill scramblers ahead of us again, but they'll be following the gill. We'll be following the path up above that crag there. So from the top of the gill we've turned right in the opposite direction to Great Moss and we're heading back towards Lincoln Beck where we're going to pick up a path and do some of these little hills in front of me. So this is our first hill of the day, peeing it not. Tracy hasn't bagged this one, so we're bagging this one for Tracy today. Me and Billy's done it. 
from Peanut Knot we're going to cross the ridge over Long Crag and then eventually to Highgate Crags drop down the front of Highgate Crags into Great Moss and then back down the valley Peanut Knot Summit 431 metres it's a singe we're going to follow the ridge back along Long Crag and then eventually to Highgate Crags which is just there the big hill to the right of Highgate Crags is Pike de Beeld another big Burkitt Esk Pikes behind that and then to the right of that is Big Daddy Bow Fell the path from Peanut Knot across Long Crag and then to Highgate Crag is non-existent on the map there's nothing much on the ground either especially from Peanut Knot so just got to follow the grass the long grassy ridge and then head for Highgate Crag which is over there and then we'll drop over the back side of that into Great Moss like I say right of Highgate Crag is Pag the Beeld you could do it on this walk but when I did my burkits up here I chose to do Pike the Beeld from Esk Pike which you can now see behind it I came up from Seathwaite and uh, done them from Esk Oz and then went back the same way and beautiful view of Bow Fell there there's a nice little infinity pool on Highgate Crags where our oh, lad Billy will get some refreshment Highgate Crags Summit 572 metres it's a burkit and a singe and Billy's beat us to it So I'll do you a 360. We've got Crinkle Crags, Bowfell, Esk Pike, Esk Oz, Broad Crag, Pen in the foreground right in front of me, Scarfell Pike behind it. Broad stand onto Scarfell across the slight side, 
then right back round into Eskdale and behind me Harterfell and Hard Knot. So from the summit of Highgate Crags we're gonna head straight down off the front of it and hopefully find that little infinity pool for Billy and then drop into Great Moss and back down into Eskdale. There's Billy's little infinity pool just down there. Just dried out a bit, there's not much water in it but he'll soon be in it. Wow, look at the hawk! Hawk where? Get after the pigeon! Whoa! Christ! Did you see the pigeon? Yeah. That's a pigeon! There's two hawks after it! Yeah, I just, I just got a glimpse of them! Um. That was quite amazing when we came past the little town there a pigeon came shooting past my head and a hawk came down from above it, must have been doing 150 mile an hour, missed the pigeon then another hawk came from the other direction also missed the pigeon, the pigeon then gained altitude which is a defence mechanism because the hawk can't go back up and the pigeon got away so that's us off the front of Highgate Crags and back down into Great Moss because it's so dry we're going to cross Great Moss and head for the river and just walk down the side of the river Esk back to the gill So this is the source of the Esk and it's bone dry. We've got a little pool here for Billy, nice fresh water, it's bubbling up out the ground from somewhere and running and then going back in the ground there. Lovely. 
So from our refreshing little dip, <laughs> we're just gonna dry off and head off back down the river desk to the car and where we parked. It's now about six o'clock, so we're gonna have to go and find somewhere to find something to eat. <laughs> so I'm gonna wrap my video up and say goodbye. Goodbye from me. Bye, bye from me. And bye from Billy.